Scott. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Esoteric Atlanta, where I have an awesome guest who's been a part of our Esoteric esoteric Atlanta community for a while and she just now she just now opened up her own channel and I'm so excited because where we go one we go all so here we are this is Christy and Christy tell people before we get started your the name of your channel um it's uh true speaking with Christy awesome and I'm and gonna put links to that in this description box as well so awesome. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Started. So go ahead and tell our audience, Christy, just a little bit about yourself before we get into your story and your journey. Well, um, you know, I'm I graduated no one and that big event happened. Um, you can't, I kind of knew then, like I had a little small feeling like, okay, something's just not right, you know. Because Shanksville, I'm like about a half an hour away from Shanksville where the plane went down. So, and we went over to see it and I never understood why there was no evidence of the plane, like nothing, you know? So there was my first clue. Well, and you were super not, young. You, we were both 18 at that time. And so just graduated. Kind of yep. impressionable in some way. It's like people could easily, but still you knew in your gut, like something shit wasn't adding up. It wasn't adding no. up. Yeah. And just like, just like with voting, I, I never registered to vote. Um, cause I was always like, why we don't pick our president anyways. I don't know how I knew that. I don't know if it's something I heard growing up. I just, that's how I felt, you know? And then about six years ago, I met my fiance and, uh, he's a big uh, conspiracy buff. You know, he's, he brought into the bloodlines with me. He brought into different stuff showing me. And it really got me intrigued, but to make a long story short, in 2020, beginning of 2020 last year, when all this lockdown stuff went, I was just on Facebook looking through stuff. And you know how they have suggestive groups like, oh, you know, look at this. Something caught my eye. I went in and from there, it's been rabbit hole after rabbit hole after rabbit hole. And my mind has been. It, it got to be so bad that I would cause myself migraines because mm -hmm. of the information overload in my head. And I would have to literally force myself to take a day or two off where I just stay in a dark room, no noise and stuff just to get rid of it. And yeah. I guess it's just like a meditate. Maybe I don't know. I don't really know what if I'd meditate. Right. Because I don't know. I'm kind of like, yeah. you know, goofy at things. So I don't know if I'm doing it right. Well, if you're feeling that connection to God, you're doing it right. So. You know, and ever, and ever since then, I've been on this journey of finding out and who I am and, you know, basically where I came from, because I know I come from God, but, you know, like where my, I don't know where I belong because right. I never felt like I belonged in my family because yeah. I was, I don't know if it was, you know, because they didn't like my dad or if it was just, you know, me, I guess, take too much after my father, but and it even led me into a journey of searching um, my father's side because I didn't have the, you know, I didn't get the, t I, get, I didn't get the chance to meet his parents because they was already passed away before I was even born. Mm -hmm. And I only met like one brother of his and maybe a uh, nephew. And I didn't know where I come from, like on my dad's side, which led me into finding out that he came from Germany. His dad came from Germany and, you know, and then it led me into just searching this, like, then, cause I have, I'm RH negative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're both RH negative. Yep. Yeah. I have that. I have that AB negative mm. blood that, um, say there's 1%. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. No, the AB negative is super rare. That's super rare. Yeah. Yeah. And I, actually it's funny. Somebody messaged me because we've gone over the, the blood and that was part of my wake up as well was realizing that, these different blood groups have a different story to tell. And if we're all following the narrative that they've given us, then wouldn't we all have the same blood type? So there's obviously okay. something to the story that they don't want us to know. And I had a real, I, I had, when I started my channel, I did a big deep dive into RH negative, but I had to private that video because it was, it would have struck the channel. Um, you have to send so, it to me. 
Yeah, I will. And I'm, I actually did set up, I have, I've now set up a backup on Rumble and I'm going to go pull it up and pull up all the ones I had to private, put it up on Rumble as well for um, in the next week or so to get everything up there because yeah, I mean, you know, you're over the target when you start getting warnings like that, you know, yeah. and, um, and I, and I, you know, it's, it's interesting because they tell us we have 97% junk DNA, but that's just BS. They it's just there for a reason, right? They just don't know what it is or they know what it is and they don't want us to know what it is. They don't want us I to know. know. Yeah. That what it is, what, what, yeah. what, what it is about us, what we can actually do as human beings through the light of God, because God is their enemy. God is, they don't, they don't want us in the light. They don't want they us don't. to know what, what we've been given as his children, but their time is up. You know, we're at the yep. end of the book, guys. Like we are literally at the end of the good book. So it's just like, oh, I can't wait till that final moment where you can just take that deep breath and just be like, and just relax. It's you over. Know? Yeah, it's, fin it's, it's finished. You know, I feel, I feel super grateful. I think most of us watching are so incredibly grateful to Mr. T and to yes. the people around him who've literally given up so much. They are literally on the front line, basically, of this battle. Um, yes. But all of us play a part in this as well. And you talking about, like, you always felt you never belonged or anything. That's common for a lot of us in this community. It's like we, we were put here to help usher in this. Um, so the fact that you always kind of knew that some, something wasn't adding up, that the story that we had been told wasn't adding up. And yeah. I do, even though I get frustrated with the sleepers out there, I do get, um, I do have empathy because when things flip, they've been given this ample opportunity to start to slowly wake up, but they've refused it. And it's not, it's not a simple, um, it takes a long time to really process how many lies we've been told. Yeah. And, you know, there's still times that I think that I don't even, you know, I know we don't even know there's still more out there yet to discover. And it's like, oh my gosh, this is going to be like the rest of our lives to yeah. learn because we've been so played with and messed with and lied to that. Mm -hmm. Just to uh, um, unravel the gaslighting that they've done to us. And yeah. it's, yeah. you know, and I always tell people like, if you're trying to wake somebody up, don't start with the real real intense stuff you guys know what we're talking about like the religious stuff like start with the real basic understanding of like what they're doing with per se children as far as like what we understand as as and i'm i'm gonna have to beat this word but people can understand that you know yeah. and then let them slowly start to unravel the deeper elements of that that happened on those particular islands and certain areas of the world, you know, and, but then you get even deeper and you realize, like I was watching Janine's channel the other day, terror by Janine, and there's land masses that they, we don't know about. I Did got it that? all. Did you see that? I mean, there's yeah. land masses floating around on this earth that we just. Do you know that I have a suspicion what I think it is? What do you think it is? Lemuria. Okay, yeah. Well, Huma, House of Part Huma. of her. Yeah. And what, what they, our new earth now name is from, from Lumerians is uh, uh, Matia. That's the new name of, of our earth is Matia. Um, Huna. Yes, from Huna. Yes, yes. I mean, he's like. He's taught me a lot. He's a special person, isn't he? There's he's special, very special. Very powerful people on this, on this journey with us. Um, I've learned stuff that I've always had suspicion about the calendar. Mm -hmm. Oh, our calendar is totally wrong. It's totally, that was intentional guys. Oh. That was absolutely intentional. <laughs> like everything's intentional. That wasn't just like an accident that they accidentally got. That was intentional. <laughs> that literally, when I found that out, that literally like blew my mind. Like when I found out that how they had changed it over the course of time till the one we are today, which is the Gregorian. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, Oh, and my journey has also been a part of finding the real calendar. And I really think now I know it's the Lemarian calendar. Yeah. That's what I'm kind of getting to. And you know, it's interesting. Part, the reason why they did that and people are going to be asking why they do that is because in the agreement between God and Lucifer, 
when they made that, and we're using the words God and Lucifer, both Christy and I come from like a Christian background. Most of you do too. So that's the, the, but I understand some people will say dark and light. It's all just semantics, whatever you want to call it. But that agreement that was made for our polarization, for us to have free will, they, God made that agreement with Lucifer for a certain age, a certain amount of time. And they told us astrology was bad. So we wouldn't learn it which that is the absolute way to tell time is by the stars. That's how all the biblical characters knew time was by reading the stars. That's how revolution, the whole Bible was written by that. That's how they found Jesus was through the stars. But they told us that was, that was of the devil. So we wouldn't learn it. So they would dumb us down. And then they went and screwed up all the time in order to try to manipulate that final battle where we wouldn't know. And therefore without the power of us supporting God, they could, try to trick God, but it's not working because we figured it out or at least we know what we don't know, you know? Yeah. Um, I've always been into astrology, Mm -hmm. astronomy. Mm -hmm. I love tarot readings. Mm -hmm. I love mediums. I have a very, very high interest in them that when I found tarot with Janine, oh my God, I sat for days just like with your channel and watched and watched and watched. I even went out and bought my own tarot deck and I'm, I, I want to learn, but then I have, I'm still working, you know, because I still have that fear. Yeah. And it's trying to work through it. Yeah. I get that. I think a lot of, especially Christians are, are, are opening up to the fact that we were duped basically. Um, but it's still, it's so ingrained in you that and and i basically say to people like remember god doesn't have boundaries we put boundaries on god and god is going to speak to and communicate to his children to his people in any way that they can hear it and for some people that is being able to look at the cards and put them together and get that message across and you know they talk about like in the bible it talks about sorcery and rich witchcraft guys they're not talking about tarot cards if you go back and reread Leviticus, especially in the book of Leviticus, where they speak about this a lot, if you go back and read that with 2020 vision, you know exactly what kind of sorcery they're talking about. This is the sorcery that they do at like, you know, on that resort island and up in Bohemian Grove. I mean, these are, these are not the rituals they do are not for shits and giggles. They're actual spells they're casting. That's yeah. the sorcery they're speaking about, not tarot cards. Tarot cards are literally just cards that you're able to look at and throw and people that are talented can then kind of get the message across to you. And it's never going to force you to do anything to hurt another human being or take from another human being's free will. And that's the big thing there is there's nothing evil coming out of that. It is literally just a forecast of things to look out for, things to be, to expect, all that kind of stuff. And I think Janine is one of the most brilliant card readers I have ever come across. She's brilliant at what she does. She has a true gift. Like I feel like in me, I like when I watch Tara with Janine, when I watch your channel, when I watch JC, Mm -hmm. um, Mm Jean-Claude, I have like, like, I feel like I have a connection. Mm -hmm. Like you, everything you guys do, you do it the way that I can understand and take it in. And it resides with me so much. And it's like, I don't know how to explain it though. Like, it's just. That's the, well, thank you. Well, I think like, all, of us, even, all of us, all of us are, are lives, normal. Maybe. Well, all of us are new, normal people. We're normal human beings. We're not celebrities. We have, we're not being paid off by someone. We're just like you. You decided to start a channel because you want to find the truth. That's how we all started was because we're like, you know what? I've been doing all this research and I want to put this out here because I want feedback. I want to see what other people to have to say about this, or maybe have they looked at this story and I love history. And so that's kind of my, what I like to look at is where we can go back and figure out what the real truth is. And some of these Mm -hmm. like mysterious stories that we've been told and we're doing new Orleans right now. And I'm working on a huge, um, a huge series on voodoo. And I'm kind of nervous about it in, in some ways, because I think we're so programmed to think that this, this religion is evil, but what I think I'm it finding, was actually just infiltrate and fill trailer with everything else. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's actually the true. What I'm finding about the true story of voodoo, it actually is really similar to Christianity, really similar. Mm-hmm. It's very spiritual. And I feel like what was happening from what I'm getting in new Orleans with like the Marie Laveau stuff is new Orleans 
was started, Louise, it was started by the House of Bourbon, which we've covered on my channel. They were very much, you know, into the party drug um, that we all have in our bodies, that party drug, guys. Yep. And so there was something happening there to having to do with that, especially with the huge Catholic churches there. And again, not all Catholics are Luciferians. I'm going to put that out there. It's just the higher ops. And so they, they invert the story and they need like a bad guy. They need someone to blame for some things that were happening in the city. And so they painted this culture as bad and it stuck with us. It's, it's stuck with us and like with everything else. Yeah. And it's just not the, it's just not the case at all is what I'm getting from all of my research. It's not the case at all. These people were normal human beings who loved God and they were practicing their love of God in the way that they were taught. And it very much mimics some of our belief systems in the Christian faith as well. It's just different cultures expressing that belief system. Exactly. So, so it's like, we have to be in order to move into the age of Aquarius, we have to be open-minded to like being wrong about certain things, you know, and like, understanding where our programming came from and our parents programming and what's been the most shocking thing for you waking up what's been the most shocking thing the kid situation yeah because i'll be honest with you i never never thought somebody could do something that horrendous to children because they're innocent why well, I, I don't understand I think that's how I think that's why most of us really started to push forward because it's one thing to mess with adults, but and that's the thing about children is like I, most people I know, you know, they want to they want to push this narrative of division as we were talking about off camera. But most people I know, black, white, wh where whatever their race is, if they saw a child in need, no matter what skin color that baby had, they would be there. They would react in a heartbeat to protect that child. It's a child. It's a baby. It's a baby. It's a child. Who wouldn't? Exactly. You know, that's nature. That's na that should be nature for anybody with a soul. I mean, I am, I'm really, it, it gets a, it gets to my heart because I'm an empath mm -hmm. when I think about that, because it's like, if, if you don't want to be their mommy, I'll be their mommy. Right. You know, like give them to me. I'll take them. Like, right. Right. Yeah. I think most, and that's, I, I there was somebody, and I talked about this on David Dublick's channel once I, for some reason ran across a recording from, um, a vocal recording from a, the, the restaurant. I'll have to be very careful about how I say this, that particular hotspot restaurant mm -hmm. in the capital of America. I don't want to get the words to connect together. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. They play ping pong. And there was a recording someone took outside and I literally, it, it played for two seconds and I was like, turn it off. I could not, it was so just, it took your breath away to hear that. And to know that, I mean, if, if the whole world, you know, a lot of these truthers are saying once that really comes out, that's going to be the turning port turning point for healing for people because they're going to realize why we fought so hard at the end of the day, you know? why we got up there and their friends and families were risking everything. And so it'll be a turning point for healing for a lot of our nation. And we know that, um, as Charlie Ward says, like how many people have been rescued, how many kids at this point that have, you know, the militaries all over the world have that are on the good side have gone in and like done what would be very difficult for a lot of us to do, to face that and look at that and do it lovingly and to, to rescue these human beings, these babies. You know, so, you know, I, I sit here with my fiance and stuff and we'll sit here and we always, you know, how you just have little dreams of like, oh, if I was a millionaire, what would you do? And I was like, you know, I would take the money and I would go help animals. Mm -hmm. I would, because I was a teen mom, I would go and build a house for teen mothers that didn't have no place to go. So they didn't have to give up their child. And I'd be there helping them, learning them how to be a mom, how to take care. You know, them's the things that I want in the future to help people because I went through a lot of stuff when I, you know, in my last basically 18 years of my life or yeah, of my life, because ever since I had my daughter, it's just been a fighting battle and it's just something I would do close to my heart. 
Well, that's what they say with uh, the new financial system. And I have to be careful about even saying that word now. No, no. So much, but the new financial system that's coming in. And this has been hard for people to understand that the, the financial system that we have right now globally, not just in the United States, is not it's it's not it's not backed by gold, but it's backed by something else. And it's it's mm -hmm. human yeah. is what it's backed by. And yeah, um, yeah it's got to yeah. go. It's just, it's got to go. It cannot move that the federal, all those buildings that you, their taxes that cannot exist in the new, in the new world that cannot exist there because it's, it's founded on manipulation, darkness, control, usury, and the new system from what I'm starting to understand. And I, and it's going to be, this is going to be, I think hard for all of us to relearn the new yeah. system because we're so programmed about making money, spending money, all that kind of stuff. There's enough, God gave us enough resources on this planet for all, for there to be no poverty. There, yeah. There's enough resources for every human being to have what he or she needs to not be poor and on the street. Now there will still be like wealthy people in this new society, but the, the man, how they manage their wealth is going to be based on what they do with it. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, okay. what do you do with it? How do you yep. help me? You know, there's going to be so many people, homeless people that are going to need help learning how, relearning how to do manage when they're given this, you know, mm -hmm. and, um, and like, how are you going to be able to help society? What are you going to put forward to your fellow man or animals? I know that's what we want to do. We want to go back to India and rescue more animals, more dogs. I, know, I love when you say about your dog <laughs> yeah, and you have to do the little prayer thing. Oh my God. I crack up and I laugh my he butt is off. I'm like, he is the he is a light of our lives. I swear to God. I know everyone says that about their animals, but I'm like I believe the animals are soulmates as well. Like they come that particular animals come into your lives for a reason because you're there's a soul connection. And our little boy from India, he know he's the funniest dog I've ever had. He's got so much personality. And you know, they the bad guys hurt animals too. They use that as well. Mm -hmm. And so it's brutal. They take the and they're innocent too. And what's more innocent than a child and an animal? You know? Right. What's, you know, they're both levels of innocence. And so. about this whole animal thing, you just see my one dog. Um, actually, uh, in 09, I lost my mom. I'm sorry. And then it was like, thank you. And it was like about three years later, I found my uh, beagle, Daisy May. And I swear to God, oh no, I should be, but she is like, she reminds me of my mom. And I even, she has so many names, but her name I call her is Mama. Come on, Mama, baby. And she knows when I talk, it's like we can communicate. Yeah. I'm telling you, she knows what I say to her. Yeah. And then two years ago, we got a pit bull. He was nine weeks old. And my fiance went over to get him, you know, to choose. And this one kept coming back, he kept putting it back. And this one just kept coming, coming back. So we brought him home and he's been like, Bill, he's like, I swear Groot is like Doogie, which in the background, that was his dachshund was a, was his dog that he had a connection with. He says he does so much like Doogie does. And he is like, and Groot is Brindle. He's like the brown with the yellow in it mm -hmm. so and he reminds him of doogie and yeah. i'm like well i think that's your soul dog then yeah i you with my dog ravi i had a reading done a long time ago when and and the, the person reading me did not know that Ra the story of how he got ravi he was just a dog and the reading mm -hmm. kept coming that he was a soul that he was a soulmate and i was like and then I told him the story of like how odd it was because he's a rescue from India, like the the serendipity of how we were connected. And I'm like, yeah, that makes sense because that's that's a god, that's a god wink, you know. God wow. gives us these like, you know. And I loved it. I don't know if you were around when we did the Gospel of the Holy Twelve when we read through the Gospel, mm -hmm. where Jesus was really insistent in that Gospel with animals, like they are your brothers and sisters. My favorite quote is, "Do the animals not breathe the same air that you breathe?" Like you have a responsibility to take care of these animals and, you know, he Not took care. Him. And I, I love that so much because yes, the animals, I, 
you know, when I was a kid at Sunday school, once I had a Sunday school teacher that told us that animals don't go to heaven because they don't have souls. And I went home crying and my own mother, my mother's not like an animal lover. Like she has a little dog now, but she's not like, like I am, you know, she's very Southern and like house proud and our dog stayed outside and all that kind of stuff. But I went home crying to my mother and my mother was like, of course they go to heaven. Of course they do. In the book of Revelation, it talks about the four horsemen, four horsemen, that's horses. You know, she just went off about like, and even my mother, who's not like super like animal lover, like I am, was able to be like, well, yeah, they have souls. Like, of course they do. Of course they do. You know, we yep. fell from grace. Humans fell from grace. Animals didn't. They were not that dumb. <laughs> Exactly. They're smarter than <laughs> I think maybe we'll ever like, be. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I, I've always been an animal lover from, oh my goodness, pictures shows me from when I was like little. Mm -hmm. And I've always had animals around. You know, my mom, I was the one if, you know, I can remember this time back in the day we had a, a caffeine or not a, a department store J or James Way. And we came out and there was a bunch of, there was people there with puppies and a thing It said free to a good home. And I remember just like, mom, please. And she'd be like, no dad, your dad will get mad. And I'm like, well, I ended up with them. Yeah. You know? So it's like, it doesn't matter if we was going along the road and we seen like a, a stray or something, we'd get out and we'd get it. Like, that's me. I've yeah. always been an animal lover. Yeah. It's, it's you and you people like you don't pet, have, pets don't understand like I actually when I when I'm away from my house I miss my dog like I, I miss him like I miss my boyfriend like he they literally become a part of your family and a member of your family like I miss I, him you know I go I go to the extreme this is how bad I feel like I'm an empath so bad because it's like when I don't try to stay away long periods of time and I don't usually spend the night without any of my dogs because they're always with me. So when we go out, even to wherever we go, I'm like, are you sure they're okay? He's like, they're fine. I'm like, you sure? You know, and then things start popping in my head. Well, what happens if the house catches yep. fire? How's my dog going to get I'm out? I'm the same way. I'm the same it's way. Like, why? Why does this do this to me? I, I, it's I wish I could just turn it off sometimes because it does get so overwhelming. I, it, that's called catastrophe thinking. It's, it's what it's called where you, and it's, it's a mother, mother's, well, you know, you're a mother, you do it with your, they do it with children as well. Yeah. Like the worst case, there's one day a week, one day a week where our dog has to stay here by, by its himself. Um, Cause now I'm from, I'm working from home most of the time with YouTube. So he's usually with me, but that's Sunday morning where both my boyfriend and I teach a class and he's literally only by himself for maybe two hours, like maybe. And the whole time I'm like racing to get home because I'm so worried about him. Like literally he's probably just sleeping the whole time, you know, but I'm so worried about him. And it's so hot here, even though we have the air conditioning. I'm like, what right. if the air conditioning stopped working? What if he's like, right. Up? Like everything goes through in your life. It's like, for the, if that were to happen, I'm like, no, we have neighbors that could just go get him. Like we have neighbors that would be able to, you know, but it's like, you, you just panic. I know, I know parents go through the same thing. I know other pet owners listening. You probably go through the same thing. It don't but, stop. Yeah, it it's it's you just you have that unconditional love for that mm -hmm. animal and and that that's what and that's what you know that's God. God is love. God is about loving your other 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 beings, not just humans, but other beings and being able to have that empathy and that compassion for them. You know. Like I, my Daisy May, she is, she'll be 9 in March. And I know times get nearer and it it's not going to be a good time in my, my life when that happens. And you know what? I'm just throwing it. I don't try to think about it. I'm like, mama's going to live till she's old and she's already, you know, gray and she's already crabby. You know, she's my little lazy fat bagel. You know, yeah. that's my mama. And well, I think with the med beds, I have this sneaking suspicion that with the med beds that that will include animals as well is what I tell myself anyway, with our dog, that, 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 not yes. only will our life span be ex ex extended, but theirs will as well. You know what I was doing yesterday? I was sitting here and I remember Jeanine's go and she said, between the 8th and the 12th, the line gate is open. Mm -hmm. And this is the time that you want to manifest your, 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 what you want. 
-hmm. whether you visualize it, write it down, talk about it. I sit in here last night in my room and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get out a pen and a paper. And I just started right. And I have front and back because I was like, this is what I want. And you know, a lot of, there is very few things on there that I want for myself. It's all for everybody else in the world yeah. because that's what I want. If we can get this world back and the people woken, mm -hmm. we can start living the life that we's always meant to be. Yeah. That God ah. created for us. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's exactly that exactly. We were chatting about that before we got on, you know, and when I, my last show with Tamara, she picked up that 80% of her too. Girl. She is a, I love her so much. She is like a firecracker. I she cannot is. wait. Yes, I love her. Like I cannot, I, I cannot, I think she is the, one of the funniest human beings. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, uh, the Ram Das, one of my favorite spiritual teachers, used to say the highest level of spirituality is people as having a sense of humor is is comedy. And she yeah. is so she talk she'll talk about something so serious, and you you know what she's saying, but she's able to talk about it in a way that's lighthearted and yes. people can understand. And I just I cannot wait to be able to hang out with her in person and just like see what she's like in person because she is just like such a delight. She's just a delightful person. And that, oh, yep. and most of us on this, that's what I was saying with that Cody, when I was recording with him last, like, and my friend Elizabeth and TikTok, us on this Let's side of the too. board, we're fun. Like we, we, what? you know, we understand the seriousness of what's going on in the world, but we're also fun people. We laugh, we understand comedy. We can make fun of each other in a very loving way. And it's all good. We respect, you know, yeah. we, like, we're the fun people, that side of the board, the other side, Lord have mercy. Like, Talk about walking on eggshells. Everything is like a trigger. Everything is wrong. I don't even understand this having their speech anymore because it's just such like a vote word salad. And I'm like, this is just confusing, you know? So, you know, you know what? I was watching, I forget what it, there was a video someone made of these TikTok users mm -hmm. of these new gender names coming out. Okay, listen. I'll go back to one thing, and you might have to bleep this out. That's okay. Kindergarten Cop with Honor Schwarzenegger. That oh, one yeah. scene in the movie. Boys have, girls have. <laughs> Listen, this one girl came on and said she was gender fluid. And she said, you know what that means? I can pick whatever I want to be at any time of the day. Well, you're just bound to set off to have. How do we know when you're going to be that person? Because then you can change any minute. Like, it's just like, trigger. It is not claim someone of being crime because you all probably have to bleep that out. But uh, because you said the wrong. Pro uh, yeah, it's 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 just a, excuse my language. guys. It's a mind is what it is like. It's and, and the funny thing is they talk about like, oh, it's scientific that they're all these different genders. No. However, when you look at like stats for sicknesses, it's two sexes, two genders. It don't make sense. Listen, guys, I'm going to tell everybody here. <laughs> like, I don't know how much more clear you can change. I have nothing. Listen, I don't agree with it. I, I feel that when you change your body into a, a different sex, that that's a bo that's both, you know, that yeah. yes. yeah. that you couldn't do that. You should be who you are. You know, I also believe that I have nothing against gay people either because you know what? Sometimes they, their souls come back and they get into the wrong body. It can happen. Yeah. You know, I've yeah. searched, I've looked and that's how I came peace and making that. I, you know, they're just people like me. Yeah. Just yeah. looking just to be accepted. The only thing I just don't want it thrown in my face. You right. know, I don't want it like just. And be most, like, most gay people that I know don't want to throw it in your face. Like no. on this side of the board, like they don't want to be classified. They're like, like I, one of the people I follow, he was like, straight people don't go around and define themselves by their sexuality. They're defined by what they do, how nice they are, how kind they are. And he's like, that's how I want. I don't want to be defined by my sexuality. Like I'm a good doctor. I'm a good lawyer. Mm -hmm. I'm a good person. I have a great friend. I love to cook Italian food. I, you know, like why? And so I agree with you. And it's that throwing it in people's faces that's starting to confuse people about who they actually are, you know, and right. that's intentional. That's super intentional because if, if, if you guys have ever studied any type of like psychological warfare, it's like destabilizing your, your 
opponent so that they're not grounded, you know, yep. and that's what they're doing to us right now is they're trying to like destabilize us. And, and it's, it's so, it's so obvious. Like I was saying that this morning with my boyfriend, like, holy shit, it's so obvious. Like, it's so obvious. How are these people not seeing this at this point? It is so freaking obvious. And I, I am under the impression that a lot of what we're seeing, like uh, President O and his birthday, that that mm -hmm. was actually released. I feel like that was released by the good guys to help nudge people awake. Like some of this stuff is so outlandish that it's like they're trying to like nudge people awake. Like, yep. You know? I know it's like, it's almost like how much more, how much more before you guys don't like, what is, what's wrong with your, like, maybe it's kind of mean. Maybe this is my ego coming out, but like, if I can see it, why can't you, you know what my motto is? Don't ask me how I know. I didn't know you that's exactly what I'm going to, when people yes. start coming to me, I'm going to be like, the question is not to ask me how I knew because it was the question. is like, what, what was it about you? That was so resistant yeah. to being able to, to see the truth, you know? And yeah. I've been, I've been incredibly disappointed in the yoga community during all this because um, I don't know if I talk about this much on, on my show. I know I, you, everybody knows that my in real life job that we own, own a yoga shop. Well, part mm -hmm. of the practice of yoga, one of the main things that comes out benefits of yoga is being able to see the truth through the illusion, being able to understand truth through illusion. And so I have so many colleagues in this yoga world, the people who are like superior to me that have been doing this longer than me, that are, are above me in rank who are buying into the illusion. And I have been so disappointed. And part of me is like, I, after this is over, I can't learn from you anymore. Like yep. I only want to learn from people that actually saw the truth like me, because if you couldn't even see the truth, then what is, what are you going to teach me? What more can you teach me? Because I saw it. Yeah. You know, if, if all these years, you know, you can go off and learn all the postures, learn all the sequencing, you can learn all the chants, learn to speak Sanskrit, but you're, if you're not implicating the practice inside of yourself, not just the physical one, but the, then you're not practicing yoga, you're doing gymnastics, you know? And so that's yep. what I'm starting. It's that, that clarity now is like, I'm like, oh, okay, well, I can't learn from this person anymore because they are pushing a very harmful narrative. And the first yeah, and I had Go ahead. Sorry. sorry about that. No, go ahead. I had, I had a couple people that I followed at first that I did start not liking. You know, when you when you watch somebody and you sit there and you have to think, what are you talking about? A person's not for you. Mm -hmm. It's not because you shouldn't. You should be able. That person should be able to grab you with the information they have and and be able to catch your attention and keep your attention. And yeah. there was many times yeah, I followed this one and I won't name him, but I just found out that he's just not, he's now I want to say this, that he might be given some truth, but he's also not giving the right truth. Right. And either, you know, the one time something showed up and I was like, Oh, that's just not twice. Mm, three times. It's a pattern. Yeah. Yes. It's a so I just didn't do anything. I just, you know, went on to my, kept to myself and stopped watching him because I didn't like the stir. Well, now you know it's him, but yeah, well, <laughs> didn't like watching them. But that yeah. that's me. We have the free will to do that. So right. I there's there's been a couple of people in this community too that I'm I'm very skeptical of. But yeah. Um, and I get that. And sometimes it's just how you vibe with people. It's you know some people. Well, but um, yeah, but yeah, there's been a couple of incidents that have kind of taken me back with this community because especially like in, in, in our side, like I'm not going to ever attack anyone on, on our side unless there's a necessary reason to speak up, mm -hmm. like in, unless we find out they're a shill. But um, but yeah, like like I yeah, I get what you're saying. Like it's here's the thing, you know, if you're watching someone and and, you know, maybe they made an honest mistake or something. Hey, come back, you know, if, uh, come back and just let me know, like, Hey, you made a mistake about this. Well, okay. Let me find, let me go and see and, and check it out and be like, yeah, okay. My bad. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, I, I made a mistake. I didn't mean to put it out like that. Them's honest people. Yeah. Because they're letting you know that they made a mistake and they're willing to own up to it. 
Right, right. And we're and that's why I, I don't know if we said this on camera, or off camera, but it's like all of us that have our channels, whether we're still up on this platform or the other platforms, everyone that I know that I've gotten to know and work with off this camera, off camera is um, they're all just genuine people that are literally doing research. They're not experts. None of us are experts. We're just doing research and we find things and we're like, look guys, what do you think about this? And we're putting it on platform so everybody else can like, look, that's one thing I hate that's happening on YouTube is where some of the comments have to be disabled because of algorithms. Because as I was saying with Elizabeth from TikTok, like part of the reason having that comment is for us to be able to present you what we find and yes. then see what you guys have to say. Right. Right. See what you have, because because we're literally like learning this all to get where we are literally walking each other home. We're literally holding hands yeah. to learn together. And I hate when I have to do that on videos. And I usually try to put something over on the community board so people can talk about it there. But it, because that's like that's the point of having a channel. It's not we don't have a channel to be like entertainers. It's, it's so that we can actually present things to you that we have found in our research and see what you guys think, because we're we're united we stand like we're together in this so um and so that's uh, but i'm hoping that i mean we're at the precipice right now so i'm hoping the next couple months we won't even have to worry about comments and words and all that kind of stuff moving forward because that is like i know people watching are annoyed by that but trust me when i say this people like christy and me who are making content we are super annoyed by that so yes it's like oh my god <laughs> I just want to reach through the screen and just be like, shit, you know, what's wrong with your head? I know. You know I know. And it's, uh, it's like, the fa and I keep telling people like, who are kind of like half awake, like if there, if there wasn't something weird going on, why would the V word be a, a word we couldn't say the cure? Like, why wouldn't that, why, why wouldn't we like, that's a word that's been around for a really long time. It's part of our health yeah. community, but now we can't say it. So we have to think of other words to say, like Janine says, the cure, um, Elizabeth, yeah. the Jabberwocky, like we have to say other words. We shouldn't have to. So obviously they're hiding something if they don't want us talking about it. Right. Cause that's, you know, what usually that's our first thing, right? Like if they're hiding something, there's come people on, who have right? nothing to hide, hide nothing. Exactly. The, the channels that can say these words are channels that are owned by production companies like Bravo or yep. NBC, they can say these words, but mm -hmm. we can't. We're not owned by anybody. Well, hopefully that will change here soon that we all can say whatever we want. I mean, right. long, it's just not like, you know, any, and I don't think I said this on camera, but I'm going to say it because I feel the need. I don't believe in racism. I believe that we are one race, the human race. And that's, that's how I view things. You know, we have our, our bad we have our bad with everything. Oh, absolutely. It's just yeah. Bad life. It's yeah. the yin and yang. Yeah. The good and the bad people. They're it's, in all races. Good people are in all races and really bad people are in all all skin colors. They come in all shapes and sizes. But you know, yeah. But I I just hate it. Like I was on a phone call with uh some person talking about something and she asked what race I was. And I was like, well, honestly, I said I'm a human. And she giggled. And I said, but if you really want to know, I said, I'm white. And she's like, okay. And I said, be honest, that, that question needs to read. It, it should have human with it yeah. because I'm going to start making any time that I fill out papers. And this is my thing I'm going to start doing is instead of marking white, I'm going to make a little box for myself and put human and right. mark that because we should I'm all start doing that. Thing. You heard it from Christy yeah. first, guys. We should all start doing that. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We're, we're, we're human people. We bleed the same. Okay. Yeah. We have blood running through us. Yeah. We have the same, everything that God created us. We have the and same, I'm we have so the same tired of racism. You yeah. know, like I, I, um, I, my thing is always like the color of your skin should only really matter to your doctor when it comes to certain races that are susceptible to certain cancers because of their, you know, like that's the only time that it should ever matter is for a medical emergency where certain skin. You know, did okay. you ever think of this? Who's the colored people? Do I? We're the ones. That, who's the color? Who's really the colored people? Because when we die, we turn blue. When we um, get sick, we turn, you know, red and yeah, stuff. Yeah, so we change. We change colors. Yes. 
it's just i mean this is what my this is how my mind works so said so come on we're not we're just human people yeah you know that's so funny i i uh, i had a friend from ireland once when i like lived over in england and uh she used to laugh because irish people that from ireland not like descendants here in america they're so white because it's so cold there that they're almost green. Like you can see the veins yeah. through their skin. Like they're almost kind of green. She used to always laugh about like how she was like, cause I would come, I would come over from Georgia where I'd have like sun for being in the sun. And she, she'd always compare her arm to mine. And it was like a little bit of tan and like, she'd be like green because she was so white. So you're right. Like the, the, the white kind of gives away some stuff. So, you know, yeah, no, I, I absolutely like I was on a we, prime minister and I talked about that a couple of weeks ago with Elizabeth about like, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yes. It's, it's yes. absolutely like, are we still talking about this? And I, and I know in my own life, like I have friends of all great races and all, you know, whatever, None of my, I've never known any of my friends to really give a crap about what somebody's, when they meet somebody, no. it's never about like what they always like, man, that guy was an asshole. They never comment on the, the color of their skin or that or Oh man, I just met this new person. They're really super nice. She would like it. They never, they never lead with the, their color. Never. It's always like, it's a, I don't jive with that person. Yeah. And you're it's like, like about the, who, and who they are as a person being like our human yeah. being. It's like what MLK said, um, judge not by the color of your skin, but by the content of your character, you know, and mm -hmm. that's where we need to move into in the new world is because literally we are all just mutts anyway. Like we, at this point in our, in our history, we got little something of everything inside of all of us. So, you come know, on, it's, come on, bro. with you and me being negative, maybe we're aliens. You know? I know. Well, I go around. That's what my boyfriend used. He was the one that got me on that because he's actually RH negative too. <laughs> and he just, but a lot of experiences I had had, he was like, you know, that's common for RH negative. And then I, you know, my great, great grandfather was born in the English royal family. So I'm like, oh crap, I actually literally got their bloodline. <laughs> So I go you. around and I go to my fiance and my son and stuff. And I go, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. And they're like, Oh, just stop. I'm we like, well, I have about, that RH negative. I know. And RH negative is recessive. So, so that means that like, so my boyfriend is RH negative as well. So if we were to have a child, that child would mm -hmm. absolutely 100% be RH negative. They, it, it'd be either O negative or A negative because he's A negative. And he used to make fun of me all the time. And we, yesterday we were talking about the possibility of in the future having a baby. And he was like, that kid would come out with scales. <laughs> Oh, you know what they saying about reptilians, the, the stigmatism you were saying, mm -hmm. I was at an eye doctor the other day. Do you know, I have so bad. So it's like a, my one eye is 4.25 or something like that. She's looks and she's like, wow, you have like, there's, you can't go higher than that. And if both eyes, and that's, I'm like, that's... well, and I look at her and i said well i'm rh negative that's alien blood and she yeah. just giggled like she knew like yeah they thought they know like that was it for me when i found out i was rh negative like i had all these like little health problems my whole life and it, they always mm -hmm. were treated kind of separately and then when i really started learning about i was like oh my god all of this is because of my blood type it comes down to my blood type it's all there the stigmatism You're i have a stigmatism, t st t stigmatism as well guys and what she's referring to is um your, your pupils you have here, but in the back of the eye, people who are RH negative tend to have like a diamond shape in the back, which is reptilian. And so it causes a stick, what they call a stigmatism in the medical world of optometry. However, if you dig deep on that, people who are RH negative tend to, generally speaking, not everybody is this way, but they tend to have a lot of paranormal phenomenon and RH negative people tend to be able to see things that other people can't see as far as like interdimensional beings. They have a lot of the, you know, and it's because of that stigmatism that our, our eye shape is different. So it's literally, it's not, 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 it's not like a psychic seeing it's like literally being able to see things that other people can't see different lights, which you see stigmatisms a lot are like seeing of lights, but it's literally seeing a different. And so that's what Christy's referring to. And it's true. It's so true. If you're RH negative, go ahead, go up and you have a stigmatism. Boom. There you go. That's why. Cause, cause you're a freaking alien. <laughs> and you know what? If I'm an alien, cool. Guess what? Y'all living among aliens people then, because if we are, we've been here and look, we're normal. Yeah. Yeah. I know. No? 
I know it's, it's um, like, I have, let's see another, I have the extra vertebrae. I have um, the eye color. I have my natural hair color. I highlight my hair, but it's like a, it's like a tint of red strawberry blonde, which is normal um, mm -hmm. for an RH negative. My boyfriend's redheaded. Um, yeah, it's, there's so many different things that you can look and see that they, they you'll see on, on TV or for the celebrities that their eyes will change sometimes that I've never seen that on myself. Somebody did say they saw it once, but I think it was the ring light. <laughs> they were saying yeah. it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, it was like probably the ring light, <laughs> you know? And so, and, and that, and that's biblical. They talk about like, if you look at the Nephilim, they're not, not saying we're Nephilim, we're not Nephilim, but there is, there is resources to show you that there were interbreeding going on with different species, Palladian, um, Draco, all sorts of different types of species. And who's to say that God didn't allow that to happen. And just because you're born to a particular bloodline that's considered bad now, doesn't mean that you're bad because we all have the freedom of choice. We all have that freedom. Look at princess Diana. You know, she was also AB negative. Like we all have that, uh, John, John, a uh, junior Kennedy junior. Like they, we all have that, that even Mr. T mm -hmm. is negative. We all you have that when choice. I do what? When I when I found out I was Rh negative is when I got pregnant when I was nineteen, and um, they did some blood work and they came back and they said to me they're like okay you're Rh you're Rh negative and I'm like oh what was it what's that and they're like oh nothing you know just we just have to give you a shot so your body don't like basically abort the baby and I'm like oh okay so they gave me the shot but luckily she came out and she was a negative. Um, so your and body supported funny, her anyway. Yeah. Yes. And the funny thing is, is that both of my kids, my daughter's a negative, my son's B negative together. They make my blood a B negative. That's so interesting. That's so interesting. And that's it. So, mm -hmm. so think about that guys. So women who are RH positive can carry an RH negative baby. No problem. No problem. But women who are RH negative run the risk of aborting an RH positive baby. That's why medically my sister's had to have those. Shots. She has three kids. She's had to have those shots as well. Mm -hmm. We medically know how to, to stabilize the pregnancy now, but without medical help, yeah. the baby that you could lose the baby. Um, and so that is really interesting. That's like it. That basically is like a red flag for there's a different species within this DNA that we have. And that's why the body is having, and if you think about that, so like in the Bible, it talks about the women, the human women intermingling with these fallen angels, or if you want to go a step further and say, maybe these were aliens, that would make sense because the human women would have been RH positive and they would have been able to carry a negative baby, you know? And so it's, and this is another reason why earlier in my research, like another reason, well, not only do like these bloodlines think they're special, part of the reason why they think they're special guys is because they're RH negative. Now I know Christy and I don't think that about ourselves. I know, I, I think I can speak no. for you to say that we don't feel like we're better than anybody because we don't carry this rhesus factor in our blood, but for them, for them, they think that their blood type is superior because they are Draco or Anunnaki that they carry this particular potent blood. Um, and it just happens to have been leaked out into us as well. Um, and so, and that's another reason why they, they interbreed together. But again, another reason for that as well is because back hundreds of years ago before medical intervention, they could only breed with each other. They wouldn't have been able, the, the women would not have been able to carry a potential RH positive baby. So it, there was a definite separation there. And I think, I think every RH negative I know doesn't think they're better than anybody else. And I have said mm -hmm. this in my videos, if, if the RH negative bloodline, if there's something special or unique about the RH negative bloodline, then believe you me, there's something special and unique about every bloodline that they're, exactly. not, that they're not telling us. So, exactly. There has to be, there has to you be, know? There, God don't make anything that's not special. No. You no. know, so, you know, I'm, uh, you know, my, my fiance calls me, Oh, you're my little bull in a China shop. I'm like, I know, you know, like I'm special. Cause I, and then I use that because I'm RH negative. I'm just a special person. And if you know what I'm meaning, yeah, it's kind of just funny. Yeah. It's, well, that's like my boyfriend. He, he made fun of me. He kept making fun of me for being RH negative. Like the whole lizard thing. Like he kept at my body temperatures are like 96 is low, which is cold blooded, whatever he would make fun of me. And then all of a sudden I kept looking at him. I was like, well, you carry a lot of the side effects too. He was like, I'm not RH negative. Then we like, got his damn blood test and he came back. He was a negative. And I was like, 
Well, ain't karma a bitch. <laughs> yep. I guess you're just like me, you know? <laughs> I was like, well, I guess oh, wow. it's be easy for us because we're both, we don't have to worry about that. That Reese's, this no. Reese's factor. So no, absolutely. It's, it's so, and to me, to me, that is so fascinating. Like all this stuff, because we weren't taught this in school. No. Like, you said when you were 19, they tested you and you got pregnant. They were just like, oh, we just got to make sure we give you the shots and stuff. And when you're 19, yeah. you probably didn't even like think about that. Like it might just- my sister knew that with her babies, like, oh, I, she's being negative. She's like, I get shots, whatever it was. But then you start scaling it back and you're like, why? Okay. This yep. is interesting because basically it's like a different species is what you're well, talking yeah. at this point. And I've been on this journey for a long time because ever since, you know, something's like, okay, what is this? And then you look into it and look into it. And then you realize that, okay, you are different. Your blood is different but why are you different? Why is there so low? There's only a so small amount of us. Yeah. 15% of the world population is, I think is, um, yeah. Is it 85% of the world population is positive. 15% yeah. of us are negative. That's a low percentage of people. And then a B negative, what you are is like point zero point five percent of people. So it's like, right? What, what, okay, there's something, and the fact that they know this, the fact that they have these statistics out there tells you that there's more statistics that they're not showing us. Yeah, they're being buttheads and not giving the information because they just want to rule us. On- yeah, and they don't want us to know. They're like, they're like, oh, don't worry about it. You came from monkeys anyway. No, well, I didn't come to the people- damn monkey. No, RH negative people for sure. RH negative people for sure don't because we don't have the Reese's factor in our blood. Like, we don't connect at- for sure. And my whole thing is if we don't, no one does. Exactly. And you said something about the ne- Nephilim, right? Yeah. My son is 14 and he's six, two. Oh, wow. And he's a big boy. He's like a big boy. Now my dad was also big built like that. And I remember him, his hair turned completely white by the age of 21. Your dad. So it's like, mm-hmm. Wow. So it just makes me wonder because now I have a 14 year old that's like six, two, and I'm like, he shouldn't be this tall already. And he's not done growing yet. So yeah. Do we that's have interesting. something? We'll look at a uh, Baron uh, T. Yes. Look at him guys. If you yeah. haven't seen pictures of him lately and there is, I've, tall. yeah, I've shown, and I will say like, I said this on uh, the Mardi Gras episode with Dionysus being Nephilim. And I'm going to make this clear too. Like we talk about the Nephilim, all the Nephilim were giants, but not all the giants were Nephilim. Okay. The Nephilim was a very specific dark soul, you know? And so when we start seeing these things with people who are maybe have this DNA quality, we'll say, doesn't mean that those people you know, it, it's, it's just so fascinating. Like I could talk about this all day because it literally once I feel like for people, when you first start to wake up, you kind of go through mm-hmm. this like dark night of the soul where you kind of have this mourning process because everything you thought was true, you now find found out it's just a, a pantomime. It's just an illusion. And so then you're like, well, what, what the hell is the truth? And that can be scary at first, but it's also really interesting, really, really? interesting when you let go of expectation I mean, the fact I've been bringing this up lately because it just blows my mind. I mean, people are seeing two sons. Mm-hmm. Janine Salt, she took a picture of two sons. What the hell are we standing on? What is our, what does the, the solar system actually look like? Like if we have two sons, what are the planets then? What is Jupiter? What is Saturn? What is Pluto? Like, what are these planets? If, if, if you weren't honest about the sun, then you're obviously not being not you the the them the power yeah. be. Then you're obviously not being honest about all these planets either. What are they? What are so, they? It, you start to go, oh my god! Like there's just a whole I, world out there. We we literally have no idea what what who we are. Have you thought of this way, or have you thought of this? Now you know how people's like it's flat, it's round, it's flat and round. Okay, what if it is flat with a dome? And what it and think of this outer space. They keep telling you outer space is up, right? Up, yeah. up, up. 
Think about this. If the earth is round, but yet domed, this, my friends, is outer space. Yeah. Yeah. Around could yeah. be outer space. too. And honestly, here, I don't know whether it is. I watched Janine. She said the universe ain't ready to tell or it's maybe it's both, I think. Or she, yeah, and, she said, she oh. said, um, Tom asked her, she said, is it yes. flat or is it round? And she said, well, it's neither. And they're not going to tell us yet. Like you're not ready for yes. this. <laughs> We're like, okay. I mean, and then afterwards I was like, oh my God. Is that it's bad then? Like it's gonna really no, it's not bad, but it's gonna like really traumatize us if they're like, hold on, guys, let's take this one step at a time. I, I start just thinking about like that, and I think that's where I come up. Like, okay, heaven's not or outer space is not there. Outer space. What if it? What if it is a between? What if it is both a half in a circle? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what no, but it's like. In. You know, when, when uh, this, Mr. T uh, released the new space program, we were talking about that. And I was with, uh, with Tom and me. And it was the same show where Juan had talked about the, uh, the Tower of Babel and the Bible was, was like a space force. They were trying, they realized, which blew my mind. I mean, I was, that was such an interesting topic for him to say. But then he, then Tom brought up the space force and Juan said, but he didn't say what space force. Oh. Well, okay. Have you have what? you ever heard of Patriot Dave? I have. Have yeah. you ever watched any of his videos he does with uh, ok Oksana or something like that? No, I, I have not. I, I know who he is, but I have not been able to watch any of his videos. Does there he talk is about an, this? It, there is, there, there's, there's an interest video she did, and she actually channeled Jesus. And it is a very, very, it's called Jesus Bible is the name of the video. It's on and YouTube? And let me tell you why. Or is he on a it, different platform? No, he's on uh, YouTube under Patriot Dave. Okay, he's still on. Okay. Yes. And he, and she, what she channels from Jesus blew my mind. I'm going to have to go, and I will link that. I'll go listen to that today. I'll link that in the description box below, guys, because... It blow your mind. What was, what was the most it. interesting thing she said to you, in your opinion? <sighs> it wasn't that when he came back, he only he only was with seven other people, and th what happened is they. Okay, you'll have to watch it. But my favorite thing is that when she first channels, she sees uh, a different thing. And when she touches it, it turns into a Draco, like a reptilian. Okay. And it is actually Jesus. Actually, then she starts channeling Jesus. And he actually made the comment that Satan is not is just an Anunnaki yeah. that wanted to control the world. That this Satan and, and Jesus is not real that jesus he don't even like to name jesus it's yeshua yeah yeshua because the j the j sound didn't exist in, in the jewish yeah it's no. yeah and crosses are fake i'm sorry yeah. guys i don't mean that like you guys really need to just go and listen to this video and i'm telling you it really i had to stop it in between because it really like at first it was like i had to get my thought around everything what i just heard yeah um i think most I people like are really to willing to understand that we have to relearn even that story as well, because I mean, that's what I, that's kind of been where I've been the most angry is, is it not just at the powers that be is that, you know, we've learned a lot about the council of Nicaea and all the books that were banned. Mm -hmm. and, and that's another thing she mentions. And that's why I wanted uh, you to go watch it is because he paid your Dave ask uh, her to about, uh, or, uh, you know, Jesus, I, I get confused how like her, she's the one channeling them. Um, about the Bibles in the book and her response was really good. And I, I can't really remember exactly, but you need to watch it because you have been deep diving so much in these lost books and stuff that I was like, man, Bryce needs to watch this, this video. So, so does he acknowledge yeah. does, does she, does he acknowledge these books? She acknowledges them, but it's, I just like, I, what she says, it's just very interesting because 
it's not what you just have to watch it like, okay I will. i'm super curious now super curious like, I'm now, just, just really well, pay know, attention to upset. her I tell people all the time, we know it's, we know that the Bible was altered. We know that things were changed. Mm -hmm. The stories were changed in the Bible and people get very upset with that. They're like, it's the word of God. It wouldn't be altered. I'm like, listen, I'm not saying God was altered. I'm not, God still is there, but human beings have been de deceiving you. It's very well, easy to change that. You know? Another thing Os o Okasana said was that Jesus or Yeshua, I like calling him Yeshua now since I know that he don't like the name Jesus. Mm -hmm. That he would, him and seven other people was actually just sent here just to just to show us that we are like him, that we are his brother and sisters, that we can do what he does. But yeah. every time, and there has been so many people has come back like Yeshua and actually tried to do this. But they, what happened is the Yanaki and all the Dracos and reptilians would make a God out of them. Yeah. And they, they're not gods. They didn't, they're not recognized as gods. They're just, they just, you and I, you yeah. know, they just wanted to show that you have the same potential that you've been, you know, enslaved yeah. all these years. And another fun fact, the timeline she was picking up G or Yeshua on was 2.5 million years ago. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's interesting. Wow. Very. And it's like a little over an hour, but it's, it's well worth it because Patriot Dave Harley don't say anything like who asked the question, but it's mainly like Yeshua just coming out, like just saying stuff. And it, it's like, wow. Yeah. I've heard, you know, I, I kind of get what you're saying there too, because he died in the book of John, actually, I did a, a video on Reiki of, of Reiki healing a long time ago. And this is when we first were starting to wake up and people I, I showed in the books, people think Reiki is like demonic and all that kind of stuff. And it's not at all. And Jesus did that. And the book of John, I put a quote, a Bible verse and I'll pa paraphrasing where Jesus said, you will learn to do this too and do it greater. Like what I'm teaching you how to do this. And part of that was the healing of hands, which is Reiki. And yeah, yeah, I mean, y'all, y'all, everybody watching this, y'all all know that they have really screwed with us. Like they have every, literally, I was trying to tell my mom this. I was like, literally everything we've been taught, everything, literally everything is a lie. Everything. She's everything. Finally, and I want, oh, go ahead. Sorry. And I, I want people to know this about we've been lied to and you when you're finding the truth you have to you have to go off what resides with you mm -hmm. and what connects you because you'll know when you know inside yeah. you just you just do like yeah. there's no question you'll just know and yeah. that video i was talking about i'm telling you it hit home but it you just know yeah amazing isn't it I mean, I, mean, I know I, I have full faith. I love how Tamara says, trust God, but tie up your donkey. Like I have full yep. faith that God is in control right now. That Mr. T, I believe there's something very spe special about him specifically. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is yet. I have my suspicions, but I believe he was at least the very least anointed to do this. He's so he's one yep. of the richest men in the world to not be dirty. Like that. Why itself. would he put his family in jeopardy? Exactly. You know, exactly. I I might have never registered to vote, but all my life. But in in 2020, because Donald Trump was uh, going again and stuff, I and everything was really like back in 2016. I was like, oh, okay, cool. He's running. I'm still not voting because they'll just vote him out. You know, yeah. I still had that mentality. But yeah. then he won, and I was like, okay, Ooh, okay. The show's about to start. <laughs> I was like, no, I was like, next time I'm going to register and I'm going to vote because I like Mr. T ever since when he did apprentice. Sorry, guys, but Mr. T gets to, to the point. He gets the yeah. stuff done. I love he's him. Protecting oh, I want like, oh, my God. He's the only president that's never he's not. He hasn't done, had any W.A.R.s against any other human beings. It's just been against these awful people. He says it like not it a is. Politician. Do I? That's why. He's not a politician like all the other ones. He's, He's actually just a businessman. Yeah. He knows how to run a business in corporate America. Sorry, guys. 
was a business until he Trump bankrupted came in. It. He came yes. in and bankrupted it so that people could have the power back. He said that. Yes. He said, I'm giving the power back to you, the people, the people. Yes. Um, he didn't. I, I don't understand people who believe the, the narrative because it's so false. It's so there's just it's just it's 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 wickedly false. And he you know, he he never declared any WARs except against the the bad guys. Um, he made our us prosperous. Our economy was the best it had ever been. He set up um, regulations that protected his people. Every leader of every country should put their country first. Yep. You know, that's how yep. it should be. Um, I, I, and, and we know, we know, I mean, we don't, we don't know specifically when it's all going to flip. We hope oh, oh, very dude. soon because I don't know how much more the, uh, good hearted people of this country are going to be able to take without actually forming up their own little army and doing some stuff. So and see, that's what I'm afraid of because that's what they want. Yeah. They want you to get up and do that. And it's not to now because we have to go through the courts. Yeah. We have to do what the right way. We can't stand up. We can't protest like because they're going to try to come back and they're going to try to turn it anyway on us. Yeah. So the Patriots, they need to stay home. Keep doing what you're doing, but don't don't, don't fall comply. into anything. Don't comply to any of these draconian measures no. that are being taken. We're not. I'm telling you right now. I'm in a, a liberal city, in a conservative state, but a liberal city, and we've already decided if if they um try to do what they did in 2020, we're not. We're just going to keep living our lives every day. We're going to open our business. And I think a lot of people are at that point where they're like, they're just going to, yeah. you know, just not comply. They're just not going to comply. Um, they and, they and can't that, arrest all of us. There's no. not enough of them. Yeah, so. they can't. They can't. And, 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 and that's what I love. There's this meme going around where they, it's a bunch of like human beings tucked down and there's like, a, they're, they're making a table and the elites are like playing on the table. Mm -hmm. And it's like, people need to understand if we just stand up, they can't do anything. There's more of us. There's Just gotta us. say no. Your body, your choice with everything. And no. That was enough. Yeah. It's exactly. Just like exactly. And we got God on our side. Okay. And I know, uh, I think we were talking about this off camera, Christy. We were both mm -hmm. talking about how, like, if things don't go the way we think they're going to go, which we know God's on our side, I would rather be exit stage left under their, you know, yeah. Sorry, I, yep. I won't take the V, the jab nope. stabber. I'm not, not taking either. marks. No, no, nope. I'll die. Yeah, I'd Sorry. rather just leave. I'd just rather, yeah, I'd rather fight a good fight and then exit stage left and live under but that. I know, I know where I'm going, and yeah. I know that I don't want to be through that that H-E-L-L that we we would live through. Mm -hmm. I, I want to go. Send yeah. Me. I mean, we yeah. already, we already decided, my boyfriend already decided, like, if that's what it came down to, that's what we would, we would yeah. gladly take that path than living under Luciferian, satanic. My family also, my fiance, my kids, they, even my, my daughter knows, my son knows they, they, it's their choice, but they, I think they hear so much talking and stuff that they listen and they know. Yeah. So my family's safe. Sorry. Yeah. Nope. I ain't taking it. Yeah. That's how we are. Man, my, my parents, thank God my parents have declined it as well. Um, you know, because they're older. And so it's harder for that older generation. That yeah. generation is having a lot harder time waking up than we did. And because they've been yeah. more programmed than we have. And so really, and mm -hmm. most of their life, they're having to accept that they've been living under a lie for most of their lives. And that's hard. That's psychologically hard to accept, but I'm grateful that they have declined that because they want to get rid of the older generation. I, I, I used to work in home health care and I used to take care of older patients. And I had this one woman and her name was Melva and she was 101, I think. And she went and lost her house, everything, her whole life gone. I remember walking in there one morning and she's laying in bed. And she looked at me and she said, honey, I just wanted to die. I just wanted them to leave me in there. She said, I lost everything. And I remember kneeling down and I bawling and I said, well, I'm glad they didn't leave you in here because I said, I'm glad that you're here. And I said, they can, you can be, that can be replaced. You can't. And yeah. I take that with the older people nowadays. Yeah. And I feel for these people that is going to find out that they're, you know, when they're 90, 
95 that their whole life has been a lie. How are they supposed to concept that at that age? Right. They're the ones that's going to really have a very, very, very hard time. Yeah. And that's when, and that's as many people said, that's when it's our job is really going to begin. You know, we think mm-hmm. our job now is being on these platforms and putting information out, but this is just, this is just the, the beginning. The beginning. Our, our real job is going to begin when, when we're having to like help people, help them, you know, hold their hands and help them grasp with the reality of what's actually happening. And I always thought, I mean, remember, I, I tell people to remember back when you first woke up, like all the emotions mm-hmm. that you felt. You yeah, know? I cried. Oh, yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't honestly, and I'll be honest with you, I didn't want to be here anymore. Yeah. Like this that's- world was just like, what are you talking about? Everything. And then I go to find out that, you know, with the big pseudical stuff, you know, and then I sit and I think about my parents and how they, you know, they was just fed medicine after medicine and realizing like they're the cause of why yeah. my parents basically ain't here because yeah. they were so addicted on their medicine and so controlled by big, the pharmaceutical people, yeah. pharmaceutical, you know, so yeah. And this all, from yeah. the planet, it makes you not want to like, but then you hit that spot where you find that light yeah, and you just start heading towards that light and you go because so that, that, is, that light is going to get bigger and you're going to finally see what's been hidden all these years, like years, centuries, thousands of years. And then it becomes fun. Cause you're like, this is a joy. Like, wow. What? Like, I, I guess we're, we're at that point now where it's like, this is fascinating. Like this is so, but that's why they call it. They, there's two, they call it the red pill, which is waking up, but there's also a black pill. The black pill is okay. when you have to mourn when you get just hit with everything. And that's part of the grieving process is mourning the old life, the old way of the system. And we have to be patient because a lot of us watching have been on this road for a long time. So we're, we're, yeah. we're so much more, which is what I believe the rapture is, is that you start to wake up. Yeah. Not that your body, yep, was, you just wake up. So we've already been quote unquote raptured, if you will. But that doesn't mean that the other people aren't going to be, that just means we have to like put our hand out and help pull them up too yep. when the time comes. And, and I it think might be hard. Yeah, it but- might be hard. And I think that God, I truly believe I've asked Janine this question. I've asked Tamara this question. They both come up, came up with the same answers that I agree with. I think that those of us who woke up early that are doing this now, we're allowed to wake up early for a reason. You are a part of this plan. You are a part, you made an agreement with God to be here. And as you said in the beginning, like not feeling like you belong here. That's, that's a lot of people feel that way because they came here for a specific reason. And when we're, when we're put on the earth, we don't necessarily remember what that reason was, but then all of a sudden we start to remember. And it's because we're here to help push humanity into the light. And as it sounds like Charlie Ward says this, when you're trying to wake someone, someone up, you don't shine the flashlight in their face. You shine it on the ground so they can see where to go, you know, and that's going to be us. Coming. Sorry, go ahead. Sometimes, sometimes with me, I get very, like I start getting into so much and everything starts coming out of my mouth. It's not that it's just, I get so excited. Huh? I, I want to talk about it. That's why I made my YouTube channel because I want to connect with the people that can, I could talk to. Cause I'll be honest with you. I keep, I keep myself away. I stay to myself, me and my family. Yeah. And you know, I only have my, my fiance and then my kids to talk to. So it's like, I, I'm like, I have so much stuff in my head and I got to get it out. People need to know this. Like it's residing with me for a reason. Yeah. And I'm going to, y'all, I'm going to put Christy's videos links down in the description box below. And, um, and so you guys, if you you seriously go subscribe to her channel, because she's got some great conversational pieces and content. Um, and, and the one I watched your video about spirituality versus religion, that was a great video to send to some of your friends who are just now starting to question things because you have such a good way of like putting your point across without it being like harsh or aggressive. You know, it's, it's food for thought, you know, that's you know how I came across that is how? that I'm so, ex- I'm so excited because I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. Cause you told me to, it's just fear talking. It's just fear. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? And ever since you messaged me that something like just snapped and clicked and I'm like, you know what? It is fear. I got to learn. And I started doing this and then I was like, what am I going to do my first video on? And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to leave it up to God. 
I kid you not, I woke up to pee in the middle of the night and it just was there. Spirituality versus religion. I'm like, oh, cool. That's what I'm going to go with. And, and I will say, what I said to you, like, guys, fear is false evidence appearing real. And that's yes. what, and Tamara said that as well. One of my favorite things she has said when people, you know, we listen to your gut, people will say, well, how do you know the difference between your gut and, and fear? And Tamara says, well, fear makes sense. Fear makes sense. Your gut doesn't. Yep. And there is a lot of vulnerability when you put yourself up on a platform, but you get used to, you know, when you have like crazy, weird people, like put it, put, you get used to it. And you're like, whatever, you know, go yeah. back, go back to your, go back to your blue state, you know, like whatever, you know, so, yeah. um, and you get used to it, but the amount of, of community that you find here with all the viewers, I mean, even tomorrow was saying, and I agree with her, like the viewers on esoteric Atlanta are some of the coolest people are some yeah. of the kindest people. Even my mom mentioned, said that the day she was like, Oh my God, you know, I see all these other channels and there's like bickering in the comments, but most all of your subscribers are so kind to each other and just so delightful in the comments and you, you know. bring you give it off though you give oh, that good you. vibration that that's that's the thing you know with you bryce and i tell my my fiance all the time i'm like there's just some about it you can you do a storytelling where you get my attention oh, and it's very you. hard because i really think i have add like I, you know, coming that's, from that's normal back. for RH negatives too, by the way, because we have more more energy than there's a more pranic response. Yeah. So <laughs> okay, I did not that I did not know. That's the and alien so when, in you. <laughs> so if if I can if you can catch me, you got me. And every people I follow, you Tara with Janine and Tom Numbers and Patriot Dave and Jean Claude and Nicholas Veneman, or I think mm -hmm. I don't. I think that's. Yes. Th those people, I, that's all I stay to. If you yes. guys recommend something, I go to that. I keep my circle small. Not, well, that, I, not saying that I can't add to it. I just, right now, it's... So, well, I'll tell you, with all the stories, the reason why I love doing the stories is because I'm a weirdo at heart. And so these stories have always fascinated me anyway. Like, I will talk about vampires all day in New Orleans. And, now that, and now that we know what we know, that this so, is a real yeah. thing, I'm like, let's go back and review these stories because now we know this actually exists. So let's go back my, and talk about my, this. <laughs> my fiance, his name's Will. He went and said, what's next, werewolves? And I kid you not, you came out with it. It was like, babe. Yep. And he loved watching you too. He's like, she has such a pretty face. She's so cool. I'm like, right, she's a Pleiadian. She looks like this. Oh, this thank you. Because I feel like, I, I, I'm like, I was like in the corner when I was like, I, how come I'm not, how come my bloodline is reptilian? I want to be, and then somebody said, somebody commented and said, you probably have palladium as well. And I was like, okay. oh, yes. I don't want Definitely. to be reptilian. <laughs> and what I found, I don't know if you have heard, but I, I can't remember where, but um, I actually technically heard that the AB negative, or the, not the AB, but the RH negative is actually from palladians. So I don't know how true because I didn't dive into that, but I I'm telling a, you, I have a feeling they kind of interweave me. with the because it's just off worlders that don't have that. Um, so and you know, Palladians as well. Most of Palladians are good, but they also there are some negative Palladians too. Yes. So there could have been some, but most of them are good. They're they're our cousins. They're like most they most, most the most like humans you know um and if you with the palladians if you go you can find people who've had experiences with palladians and they'll the common thing they say is you can tell by their eyes even though their eyes look like our human eyes but it's like they've seen a different world it's mm -hmm. like they, they're not from they, they've come from a different like they, they've witnessed different things and so I love, sorry Ivanka Trunks one Trump she has the elegance of like she is like and I think Kaylee McNanny McNanny yeah. or however you say Mc I, I think she's McNanny, yeah. Yeah. McNanny yeah. or something like that I think she's, she's one too she's I love her she talk about talk about a feminine smart strong and sassy woman and she's related to yeah yep yep so let me ask you this do you think Melania is really Melania or do you think she's Diana? I think what you I think oh 
Oh, I think she, um, I think they play parts. I think there's Diane sometimes, and I think it's her the other time. And I don't think Baron is her biological child. Well, didn't, didn't Janine read that, that he was? Yes. Yo, I mean, she wow. Also, she also said that, okay, Princess D went, when she was pregnant, when she left, the, when she, they did what they did. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know, but I'm telling you, if you go back and you look at pictures of Paris Jackson, Michael Jackson's daughter, holy cow, she looks like Princess D. Really? I'll have to go back yes. and look. That's so, well, you know, the Al Fayeds that she apparently, people are saying that they weren't actually dating. That was the story they put out there, but they had run a security firm. And so, they were kind of hired because as y'all know, we know, cause she even said like, if I die, this is how it's going to be that. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of like, um, I'll just bleep this word out. It's kind of like they knew, sorry guys, there's going to be a lot of words. I'm going to have to bleep here, but y'all understand it'll make more sense than me trying to talk around it. He knew there was a put out on him. She knew there was a out on her. And so the alpha eds helped move her into safety Mm -hmm. under the guise that she had been taken out. Same with John. He obviously, we know now know what happened with that. And so, you know, and where right before all that went down, because she went first, John, John, Diana had a meeting in New York city. Yep. Now how many coincidences does before it's actually not a coincidence. Yeah. It's It's super. I mean, what was it the military back channel said? You guys know what I'm talking about when I say military back channel. We absolutely cannot say that here on this on this platform because they're super afraid of that. But um, he said, well, it, it said, you'll love ahead. how this ends. You'll love how this show ends. <laughs> yes. Awesome. I think we are. I, I can't wait to see um, the people come back. I know. Princess DJ, John John, Michael J, or Michael, you know, jo- I was going to say Jordan Jackson. Yeah, Jackson, yeah. Like, I think a probably lot more. of people. There's probably more probably that like even Elvis. Even do what? Elvis is Bob Joyce off of YouTube, people. Yeah, I, I think there's mo- even more people that have uh, that we're not even thinking about that probably removed themselves in order to have a bigger purpose. Uh, you know? what's, uh, what's the Ch- Chester Benning- Bennington? Yeah, Bennington. Uh, yeah, son. Yeah. Son. Yep. Yeah. I yep. mean, come on. I've asked about it, Kurt Cobain, and and I, but when I asked that, they, they wouldn't answer me. They wouldn't tell me. But I asked about Kurt really? Cobain. Um. So we'll see. I mean, y'all, as as the military back channel tells us, get your popcorn. It's well, I have an inter- I have an interesting thing to tell you real quick. Janine did a thing on Justin Trudeau. Uh about a possibility of him could be Fidel Castro's son. Yeah. I posted a video of things that make you go, huh? And I took a side-by-side video of Fidel Castro and Colin Kaepernick. And let me tell you what, I have a very, very strong feeling that Colin Kaepernick is Fidel Castro's son. You look at the shape, the beard, everything, everything. You, you know, you know, listen, no, I wouldn't neither. I mean, y'all, y'all, they say ignorance is bliss, but knowledge is power. Yep. So, but I actually have to scoot because I have another, I, another call I got to get to, but this is so fun, Christy. I, I am know. so excited. Let's do this again soon. And, yes. I'll, and I'll talk to some other people. I, like I said, people, it's a weird month because people are like going on vacations or traveling around, but we're going to get you on some other round tables with some people as well. And guys, please okay, cool. go subscribe to, to, to Christy's channel. We're all in this yeah, together. And we are all, and I tell people this on my channel all the time, like just because I'm the one on camera telling the stories, Y'all are just, y'all are one of me. Like we're, we're in this together. Like we're doing this together. So we, so I was the one who gave you that snippet stuff. Like that snippet is my favorite word. Snippet information, a little bit of information for you to go out and, Ooh, this is interesting. I want to go start. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Like, especially if you have people in your life that are just now starting to go like, this is weird. Yeah. They're just now 
Christy's channel is some of my stories might be a little too French for a newbie, but cause I go kind of deep sometimes, but like, especially the spirituality religion video that Christy put mm -hmm. out. It was beautiful. It was beautiful guys. And it does. And that is something you obviously are really good at Christy. You're able to like hook people, but not force them. Let them because go. I don't want to force people. Mm -hmm. No, it's your will. Yeah. Your free will to do it. But you're giving them enough to... information to start their own journey. And so exactly. I highly suggest that you guys go to her channel again, especially with people who are just now waking up, send them that, that those clips that she has and just let them, let them have a little think, let them like ponder that guys. And obviously show Chrissy some love because we're all on the same team guys. We are all family. We are all love you. where we go one, we go all. So we are all yeah. in this together and together we're going to walk into a new tomorrow. So all right. Well, Christy, we'll do this again soon. And I hope that you all have a wonderful day. I will talk to everybody soon. Bye. Bye.